Today we are going to install the Subaru Crosstrek Splash Guard Wilderness part number J101SFN300. This is my 2024 cross track wilderness. So we are gonna install the splash guard over here for the rear and for the front right here. So I suggest turning your left all the way to the left so you have more room clearance over here. It's easier to install. The splash guard is made out of hard plastic, similar texture as the cladding like a carbon fiber texture and it's not uh, flexible in contrast with the mud flaps my outback wilderness has a wilderness mud flaps i'll show you in contrast with the mud flaps this is made out of rubber and it's very flexible it has a wilderness design here yeah that's my wife's outback wilderness so it did not come with any instructional manual but uh, in the splash guard it clearly states rear right rear left front right and front left it comes with the screws the hardware to mount it on the wheel well so one for the rear one for the front so let's get ready to install these are the sets of screws one two three four on each side okay so first thing we have to do is remove these plastic fasteners so this is the driver front we have to remove this one one two and three underneath and it should look like this installed okay so first thing we have to do is remove the plastic fasteners you'll need a phillips screw ph2 tip to be specific so what you're gonna do is put it in there counterclockwise it might spin so hold the plastic fasteners and then once it's loosened up just take it off pull it out easily so one two hold it pull it out and the third one will be here underneath the same process don't forget to remove the last fastener right here under the vehicle h2 in total you should have three plastic fasteners removed so let's uh, test fit and it should look like uh, this installed once you remove the original plastic fasteners here one two and three underneath and then this is your splash guard it should fit like this okay so it comes with two plastic fasteners right here one long and one uh, short we might need to drill a hole right here but we'll figure that figure that out later on and you'll see these two pointed screws looks like a metal screw and it has two i already pre-installed the one and two plastic uh, a clip like a nut clip so the way it's gonna go is uh, you'll be screwing the metal screw here in this plastic like that this one goes to the fender so once you remove it what you are gonna do is you hold the wheel well plastic wheel well okay. right here it's a little bit of pressure okay you pry it like that way and you'll see the fender liner right here this is where you're gonna mount this piece Okay, I already pre-installed. There's one and then two. 
careful don't drop it because it's kind of difficult okay should clip that way so the two metal screws goes right here okay and then the one plastic fasteners goes under over here okay make sure it's lined up properly and let's put it on carefully of course should fit that way don't tighten up the screw yet just hand tight because we need to adjust it still make sure it's uh, centered that's one three underneath then push now we might need to drill a hole here so we're gonna get our drill and uh, find out the size so on the other end we are gonna look for the size of this hole okay since we already pre-installed the driver side we go to the front passenger and look for the size of this hole right here 516 size 516 is perfect so 516 drill bit fits perfectly snug so 516 will be drilled right here to make this fastener fit over here okay I usually do is I put a punch first because I don't want my uh, drill bit to go anywhere and then uh, I use a small drill bit then afterwards I use the proper size so make sure it's in the center okay center punch there you go so uh, then I have my right angle drill Five sixteen drill bit Now we just have to tighten these two bolts using a PH2 Phillips screw. Hand tight, don't tighten it too much because it's uh, plastic. that's done should look like this splash guard now we are going to install the rear splash guard so left rear and this is the set of bolts that you have you have two uh, metal screws with metal uh, what do you call this frame fasteners metal and then two plastic passengers one long one short so that's gonna be our mounting hardware okay let's start this is the rear fender so you can see there are two holes one two and then underneath we might need to put a hole over here and remove these plastic fasteners just a uh, flathead screw pull it pull it uh, towards you and then pull it out so the 
rear splash guard has four holes one two three four so let's test fit should look like this so i believe the two metal screws will go here one two and then underneath the two plastic fasteners is one and then two this one we might need to put a hole again 5 16 size drill bit okay let's go okay first thing we have to do is remove the plastic fasteners under the bumper right here this one flat flathead screw pry it in the corner pull it around and pull it down sometimes it gets stuck so we are at the back of the vehicle you have two metal clips over here there's a flat side and there is a pointy side the flat side goes towards the tires the pointy side towards the rear bumper grab the metal screw mount it hand tight so underneath the splash guard you see this is the original plastic uh, mounting hardware and this is the kit that comes with a splash guard it's a little bit longer maybe two millimeter longer to accommodate the thickness of the splash guard and then there's one short so these two underneath here you have your long uh, plastic fasteners put it back in there again put it in here where you remove the original fastener right there and then lock it push snug push mm. over here there is no hole so again we need to put a hole to mount the small fastener okay so this is the other splash guard for the rear passenger side so we need to make a hole we need to find the size of the hole so it's the same as the front one it's 516 drill bit perfect fit so we're gonna put a hole underneath the bumper again we're gonna need to put a hole right here so 516 drill bit okay so what i do again is i put a punch first Make sure it's in the center. Push. Punch. Then I start with a small drill bit just to get a pilot hole. See, I punch in the wrong. Okay. Now, the 516. And then a small plastic fastener mount it in there then push all right that's it for the rear finally tighten these two bolts with eight millimeter socket just untight not too tight and that's it so this is without the splash guard before front passenger rear passenger two after with the splash guard front driver side and rear driver side from behind that's with the splash guard without the splash guard It's easy to do. Uh, make sure you have the right equipment. 
you make your life easier and always wear always wear glasses or safety glasses always it's a must okay i hope you guys uh, learn something and we will do more mods in my 24 cross track that's that's it for now all right see you guys later peace out